in a way. It's the same as the Good morning, Artesia. I'm Amanda Long, and I'm here with your weekly special report. We were supposed to show the fashion show today, but we're having problems importing things. So I decided, hey, you know what? We could do a special report on test taking tips. So I came up with 10. Because, you know, Cassie is tomorrow on Wednesday, and CSTs are coming up. <clears throat> So this would help all of us, even us seniors, even though we're done with CSTs and all that stuff. But we still have finals and midterms coming up. So here they are. Alright, step one. Have a positive attitude. Think of this test as a big puzzle. It might be tough, but you can do it. A positive attitude goes a long way towards success. Step two. Make a plan. The week before the test, ask your teacher what the test is going to cover. Is it from textbook only? Class notes? Can you use your calculator? If you've been absent, talk to your friends about material you may have missed. Make a list of the most important topics to be covered and use that as a study guide when you study. Circle the items that you know will require extra time. Be sure to plan extra time to study the most challenging topic. Step three, the night before. Cramming doesn't work. If you follow the study plan the night before the test, you should do a quick review and get to bed early. Remember, your brain and body need sleep to function well, so don't stay up late. And get off Facebook and stop Twittering and sleep. Step 4, the morning of the test. Did you know that you think better when you have a full stomach? So don't skip breakfast the morning of the test. Get to school early and do a 10 minute power study right before the test, so your brain is churned on and tuned up. Before the test begins, make sure you have everything you'll need. Scratch paper, extra pencils, your calculator if you're allowed to use it. Understand how the test is scored. Do you lose points for incorrect answers? Or is it better to make guesses when you're not sure of an answer? Read the instructions. You want to make sure you are making answers correctly. Step 6. Manage your time. Scan through the test quickly before starting. Answering the easy questions first can be a time saver and a confidence builder. Plus, it saves more time in the end for you to focus on the hard stuff. Step 7. I'm stuck. Those tricky problems can knock you off balance. Don't get worried or frustrated. Reread the question and make sure you understand it. Then try to solve it the best way you know how. If you're still stuck, circle, the, circle it and move on. You can come back to it later. What if you have no idea what the answer is? Review your options and make the best guess you can, but only if you don't lose points for the wrong answers. Step 8. Multiple choice questions. The process of elimination can help you choose the correct answer in a multiple choice question. Start by crossing off the answers that couldn't be right. Then spend your time focusing on the possible correct choices before selecting your answer. Step 9 Neatness Counts. If your 4s look like 9s, it could be a problem. Be sure that your writing is legible and that you erase your mistakes. For machine score tests, fill in the spaces carefully. Step 10. I'm done. Well, not so fast. When you complete the last item on the test, remember that you're not done yet. First, check the clock and go back to review your answers, making sure that you didn't make any careless mistakes, like putting the right answer in the wrong place or skipping the question. Spend the last remaining minutes going over the hardest problems before you turn in your test. It's Jackie and Danielle with your weekly ASB report. Hola. Hola. Um, <laughs> on this week, on Tuesday and Wednesday, is the Cassie test for, for all you sophomores. sophomores. So meet in the front of the gym at 8 o'clock mm -hmm. or before. And please pass because you do not want to take this test again. It's really yeah. easy. Yeah, we passed it. Not saying, I mean, we're smart. We're smart cookies, I think. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. And then Friday, March 11th, is our spring sports rally. So wear your cut your class colors. Wear or Disneyland stuff. Or yeah, yeah. Freshmen are Fantasyland. Sophomores are Toontown. Juniors are Main Street. Main Street and seniors, and seniors are, are Tomorrowland. Tomorrowland. And what else do we have? Sadie's is coming up. Sadie's is March 19th. Yeah. At K1 Speed, it's sports theme and it's going to be From five. 7 seven to 11. 11. Yeah. So, is that everything for this week? Everything. Okay, that's our weekly report. Bye. Bye.